Brands on Brands. Hey, what's up, everyone? This week we are talking about my predictions for 2021 in terms of personal branding. What are the personal branding trends for 2021? Check it out. In a world where advertising is ignored, business is exposed, and the only constant is change, how do you build a brand that matters? Welcome to Brands on Brands on Brands, a home for those who think different and push their boundaries. This is where branding that matters lives. Now, here's your host, Brandon Berkmeyer. Hey, 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 welcome to Brands on Brands on Brands. I'm Brandon Berkmeyer, your personal branding coach, and I believe that building a brand that matters today is the only way for a business to thrive tomorrow. I appreciate you being here. Today, we're talking about the personal branding trends for 2021. My predictions are here for you today, breaking it down for you, what I see happening that will help you position yourself for success next year in 2021. And uh, before we get into it, if you would like to refer back to any of the specific lessons from today's episode, make sure to go to brandsonbrands.com forward slash 144 for the full blog and downloadable resources. Also, just so you guys know, I help people develop their personal brands. And if you'd like me to help you with yours, whether it be figuring out how to create content for your personal brand or to position yourself in your market. Let's chat. Let's figure out how to do that. Go to brandsonbrands.com forward slash coach to set up a free consultation. Maybe we can work together. Maybe I'll just give you some tips. Whatever you guys need, I'm happy to help. All right, let's jump into the show. Brands on Brands. All right, personal branding trends 2021. Well, First off, I want to say what got me thinking about this is a friend of ours, Ross Brand, who I've had on the show, asked me to come up with some predictions for his show. And I wanted to share some of the things I came up with for you guys today because, you know, maybe you didn't hear that. Maybe you only tune into me. And that's great, too. So let's dive into that. You know, what's happening in personal branding? Well, obviously, 2020 sets the stage for 2021. And obviously a lot happened. It was a crazy wild year, a lot going on with society, with the pandemic and with the economy and everything else, lots of change happening. So, you know, all of these and, you know, what is is what drives the trends for the future? You know, I know a lot of us had to stay home with kids, had to figure out how to work remotely, had to learn how to use Zoom, had to rebalance our schedules, how to find technology that helped us automate our lives. Whatever it might be, a lot of that is things that have affected us today and this year. And so looking forward into 2020, what I like to say is, first off, 2021 will be the year of virtual connection. Top to bottom, that's what I want to make sure you guys think about, is 2021 will be the year of virtual connection. So the reason this is important, the reason why we should be thinking about 2021 and how to tap into virtual connection is basically that things are always changing, right? Things constantly change. It's good to keep up on what's next so you can set your proper priorities in terms of where do you spend your time? Where do you invest? Where do you acquire new skills? And where do you put your efforts so that your efforts pay out better than they would otherwise? So so virtual connections where I think you should be figuring out like how do I across the board in terms of my skills, in terms of my tools, my resources, the people I connect with, how do I adapt all of these things to ensure that virtual connection is a priority. So for personal brand businesses, especially, this is huge. And for personal branding overall, people are seeking out new opportunities to interact and engage with other people, whether it's because they've just felt like they couldn't get the connection they wanted because they couldn't go to the conferences they wanted to go to. They couldn't travel to see their friends they wanted to see. They couldn't go to the local chamber of commerce meetings. They couldn't go to local networking events. They couldn't go to their WeWorks or their co-working spaces. All of this leaves people looking for opportunities to connect with other people in new ways. So virtual connection is the solution for that. So if you can't figure out how to connect with people in real life, how do you connect with them virtually? They are seeking out these opportunities. So how do you put yourselves out there in ways where you will intersect with the same people you used to intersect with or new people 
in an engaging way that doesn't leave you behind in growing your business. What does this mean? Well, this means from a media standpoint, from a branding standpoint, some of the tools out there are going to step up the skills you might need to look for. There's going to be more live video. There's going to be more direct messaging, right? There's going to be more people out there figuring out, I'm going to put myself out there so that if they can't interact with me in real life, they, maybe they can interact with me, with me via video so that they can get to know me a little bit better. So you might have to get familiar with telling your story in a video format, using these tools to express your message. You might have to get used to sending people direct messages across social media and following up after you meet someone with a direct message that connects with them on social media and say, hey, great chatting with you, nice meeting you, looking forward to connecting more and interact with people in that way. You might have to look at online communities. There are going to be more people looking for new places to connect online. And online communities had already set the stage as a place where that can happen. And it's just going to accelerate, right? At the end of the day, the more things change, the more they stay the same. The things that were already happening, like more Facebook groups, more online video calls, more small video group chats, more virtual events, that was already happening. Live video, taking center stage, direct messaging, all that was already happening. But because we have this new environment, it's happening now at a more accelerated rate. So the places we were already going, they're not going to sound new, but they are now of larger importance than they've ever been. So if you haven't done it already, figure out how you can step into these spaces. So online communities, for example, if you haven't been interacting with Facebook groups, that's number one, or other groups online, that's number one. Figure out how you can join a mastermind, join a Facebook group, be involved in the local online meetups and virtual events in your community so that you can gain back that virtual interaction and learn how it, what it means to interact in these ways. Like, okay, so you joined this virtual community. What are you going to do? How are you going to show up? How are you going to present yourself? What are you going to write in your profile? How are you going to reach out to people that are at the same event? And as an opportunity, that's an icebreaker. I just attended an event that was a podcasting event that was usually held in person that's now online. And it was funny to see the amount of interaction in the chats was lighter than you'd expect. And why is that? Well, because people aren't used to it. There might have been 200 people attending the and watching the the speech that was being given, the virtual presentation that was being given. But there were only maybe five people interacting in the chat. And I think that's just a new skill. People aren't used to it. You have to get good at interacting in these new environments. And also be the person to say, hey, I saw that you were also in the same meeting and follow up with them within that conference tool to say, I'd like to connect with you. Your story seems interesting. We should get to know each other. You have to be more active, more proactive in building relationships in these virtual events because you're not going to bump into people in the hallways. They might have a little networking piece of these conferences, but you actually have to do a little bit more work virtually to connect. And that might mean understanding how you can better set up reach out that's, uh, that's very authentic and personal saying, hey, I saw you in this speaker session. I'm interested in this too, or you know, whatever it might be. What brought you to this conference? Or what, you know, like something that's very personal and introductory will get them to respond. And then you can say, hey, I'd love to get to know you better. Are you, are you open to a video chat? Uh, let's set up a time. Here's my link. Being prepared to do that is what's going to take you from just being a room in a faceless crowd to starting to build back the interaction that drives your business. Another one is, you know, these one-on-one -on -one video calls. I think everyone needs to have a Calendly link that they set up that has easy access to their schedule that propagates a video conference call. I use Calendly and Zoom. I connect them together. And anytime someone wants to connect, here's my link to my schedule. Pick a time and let's do it. And set time aside for that because those calls, you never know where they're going to go. It might be a vendor. It might be a resource. It might be someone who might refer you people, or it could be a customer. You never know. And that networking is what's going to lead to opportunities for you. So set up the one-on-one -on -one video calls because email and text and DM is not enough. Another one is small group video chats, like figure out how to become a part of something where, you know, they did a lot of virtual happy hours during the quarantine, you know, like Thursday or Friday happy hours where you jump on a Zoom call with maybe 10 people, maybe 30 people or five people. And you know, connect, tell stories, tell jokes, learn, interact, and find ways, you know, it's hard if it's not the kind of environment where you can talk, then find ways to interact in the chat or create a funny virtual background, 
find ways to engage so people notice you. You know, have find an opportunity to tell your story, to volunteer or host your own chats, whatever it might be, so that people interact with you. And then virtual events like the one I attended, like if you can find virtual events that are in your industry that are still happening, a lot of the events that got canceled switch to virtual. So whether it's your industry event that you always attended or it's something locally that's like a co-working thing, find a way to attend virtual events. And that's a basically a perfect email list building tool for you. You can go look at all the attendees, figure out who you want to interact with. And now you have an icebreaker. It was It's not just, hey, George, I want to work with you. It's, hey, George, I saw you at this event. Uh, I'd love to know more about you and why you attended and whatever else. You have an icebreaker. Just like when you attend events in real life, the icebreaker is always, hey, what brought you here? Or how are you enjoying the conference? These are very normal personal conversations that break the ice, that warm up introductions so that you aren't reaching out to people out of the blue on LinkedIn. Like how many invites have I gotten on LinkedIn from that are just pure spam, no thought put in, onto them? Virtual events are going to give you a way to break the ice and have a real piece of virtual interaction in common that will break the ice for you. So I'd start with that. And then all I would say is that on top of all this, again, virtual connection being the trend for 2021 that you need to tap into. The personal brands out there, the people that are building their reputations off and online, people that can offer the most authentic access in real life and virtually will win. So anything you can do to take it from being spam and pre-programmed scripts to being authentic one-on-one, hey, I see you in this chat room, or hey, I saw you at this conference, or hey, I noticed you on in this Facebook community interacting in the in the conversations. I'd like to get to know you better. Uh, do you have time to chat? All those authentic one-to-one reach outs are so much more important now because you don't get to have them in real life. So you might as well find a way to have them virtually. The connection point between virtual environments and your authentic personality, you taking an interest in someone and finding a way to connect will be what takes you and your personal brand to the next level. That's what I got for you this week. That's what I hope you take with you into 21, 2021, figuring out where do you need to improve? Where can you step up your game and, and find and acquire new talents, new skills? This is where you do it. Think about how are you building your virtual connection moving into and farther from out of 2020 and into 2021. What are you going to do to build, build those virtual connections? And also, if you are like me and you'd like to grow your personal brand, I help people do that. As I mentioned at the top of the show, I help more people discover your content to help you get honed in on what your messaging is about, what your core proposition is, how to position yourself in your market, what your messaging will be. I'm happy to do that for you and also show you if you're ready to create a content platform like a podcast or something else, helping you understand the way to do that. Lots of different forms, whether it's through a program or through just one-on-one accountability calls. Happy to figure out what works for you or just you can pick my brain for 20 minutes on a free call. If you'd like to do that and help more people discover your content, your brand, let's chat. I'd love to get to know you better. Uh, You can reach out to me. That's brandsonbrands.com forward slash coach. My schedule is always there for you to connect with me virtually. And who knows, I might, if it's not me, I might know someone perfect for you to take you to the next level in your business, in your brand. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the show, please take a screen grab and tag me on Instagram at Brandon Berkmeyer. And remember, building your brand is a journey. Tackle these little items each day and move forward. I hope these tactics shared today will help you in the future. Thank you for listening. I appreciate your time and I will catch you all next time. You've just taken your marketing knowledge to another level with this episode of Brands on Brands on Brands. But we have plenty more ways to not just help you build a business, but build a brand. Head over to brandandbrands.com for more resources, as well as access to our blogs, videos, and exclusive coaching sessions with your host. Be sure to visit brandandbrands.com.